Joining us now is Brian Seitel, Senior Managing Director and partner at the Bonson Group. Brian, uh, great to speak with you. I know that you had owned FedEx uh, for about a year and then you sold out of it. And it's a stock that you still monitor pretty carefully. Just hearing the, the rundown of today's results, does it validate all the cost cutting that FedEx has over has taken over the past year? Hi. Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely a step in the right direction, and it's good to see. And you're right. We were in the name about a year, about a year and a half ago, and have now since exited. So it's nice to see some of this come into fruition. And that's what they, you know, this is the same narrative. They've got basically a demand supply imbalance with um, with cost cutting measures being taken to try to right the ship from an EPS perspective. And you're seeing that in this quarter's earnings numbers start to come through, which is a positive sign. So you mentioned that you had uh, owned FedEx for about a year. You bought it in 2022, September of 2022, after a big earnings spark sell-off. You held it for that year. Why did you exit after just one year? Yeah, I mean, it's it, you know, it, it was a big dip on earnings at that particular time. It was down 20, 21 percent on the day. It's a great American business and a great dividend grower that we wanted to own. And frankly, we've been eyeing for a long time. Um, it's not characteristic of us to exit a name that soon. And it wasn't necessarily because we think that FedEx won't ultimately execute. It's got a great management team in place. Hmm. Some of these initiatives and cost cutting, like their drive campaign and their network 2.0, I, I do think will, will pay off. I just think there's a transition time. And so when we got in around 160, and, and had the shares trade up to 250 within 12 months with yields back down to below 2% from a dividend perspective, we just felt that capital would be better deployed elsewhere. But again, that wasn't necessarily a vote of no confidence. Yeah. It's more about the time it will take FedEx to get through some of these cost cutting measures. OK, so you look at this as an income play. You mentioned the yield dipping below 2%. It's at 1.9% right now. What would you need to see in terms of yield for you to get back in? Uh, you know, th yeah, honestly, for us, th there isn't a set number. I mean, if it got north of two and a half on the on the dividend yield again, I think it would be of interest to us. Again, we we love to own it again, and I do think their dividend growth will catch up to where share prices are. The stock isn't expensive here necessarily. It's trading at fifteen times, mm -hmm. and so all of these cost cutting measures they're taking that are coming to fruition are are, are reasonably priced into the name. Yeah, we just want to see that dividend caker kind of kick, keep kicking in. Okay, so we keep circling around this. I, I guess the question for me when it comes to FedEx is what is the growth story here? Or is it really just at the mercy of these macro headwinds? Unfortunately, it's in the, it's in the, in the throes of some of these macro headwinds. It's in a secular, um, uh, uh, declining, you know, uh, competitive market right now. Uh, a lot of competition with UPS and others. Um, we, this is coming off of a, a post-pandemic kind of unwind yeah. at this point, and they're having to sort of get through uh, absorbing what is basically their express business to the largest, by far, the largest percentage of revenue with a profit margin of basically 1% or zero. So that, that's tough to get through without taking some, some hard measures. They're doing it. It's just taking some time. All right. Brian Seitel, thank you so much for joining us today. Senior Managing Director and Partner at the Bonson Group, uh, looking perhaps to re-enter FedEx uh, when the numbers make sense for him.